I've been going through something. About 952 days since the last time I've been on the stage. And I got invited back. DIY. We've been through the highs, ran through the lows, and all I can show is devotion. Through every relationship, you was a Navy ship, gave me your anchor to hold on. Now we flow on like his modest mouse to a happy home Well, I got my doubts. The video you're watching is from a listening party for an artist named Sonny Babble super fire artist that I've been working with for years. He invited me to not only come listen to the album, but to vibe out with him for a feature that I did for the album. And not only was this the first time I was on stage since 2019, but it was also the first show that I've been to since the pandemic. Two things I learned that night. I really miss being on stage. And two, I definitely need more performance songs for this album. <laughs> Feel beautiful with smoke and the beats and the beef. Beautiful. You beautiful. You feel beautiful. Now, even though the album is nowhere near done, I think it's still important to let my listeners know that something is coming. So I came up with this idea to do these vertical videos for TikTok and IG that share my favorite verses from the project. Needless to say, they were kind of excited to hear about it. Yeah. Trying to do the album cover and Nas, my son, is the most difficult to sit still for an album cover. We've been taking shots of yeah, him yeah. hugging Spongebob because in my picture I'm obviously hugging my football and uh, he's more of a Spongebob fan than a basketball or football fan. So the DIY album cover is going to be inspired by a DIY EP that I made in 2012 that had a picture of me as an adult and a picture of me as a kid. It was supposed to represent the youthful energy that I wanted to bring to the music, the freedom that I wanted to bring. And one of my biggest listeners, Tone, said, yo, you should recreate that this time with your son. And it's such a genius idea because that's exactly the energy that I'm bringing to this new project. I wanted to feel free and feel alive. I didn't waste any time. I sat down on my phone and I designed what would be the first draft of the album cover directly on Canva. But that did not mean my fatherly duties were over. <laughs> Thank you. Some juice? Now I know there's probably some of you that are like, yeah, this is all cool and all, but Curtis, get to the damn music, shut up. And I hear you. But it's not every day that you get to get advice on your songwriting by a best-selling author named Stephen Kotler, back again here at the Curtis King Podcast. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. It's good to see you, Curtis. It is an absolute honor. What advice would you give to your friend Curtis King as he embarks on this scary yet exciting journey towards making his best album possible after five years of not making an album? Bring a friend and remember to play. Mm. You're not going to make your best album in five years if it weighs that much and you're not laughing about it along the way. Wait, so Don showed me another show on there where they give you challenges. Cutthroat Kitchen. You ever heard of that one? No, I have heard of that one. Oh my God. It's literally like if a troll came on the show and gave you different obstacles. Like you might be in the middle of cooking a meal and they say, take away all their spoons. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go there. I want to go eight away. Yeah, I want to go up nasty. tempo, bro. After after going to Sunny's show, it reminded me like how much I've been removed from shows. Mm. And when I seen like the, the the songs being played on the big speakers, I was like, you gotta have that as part of an album. Let's run that. I'm the throwing in words right now. You know what? The way I've been cooking up the process, bro, like, whatever comes to you, yeah, just record throw it, in, it yeah, and I'm going to just take them. Like, the way I'm bringing yeah, these sounds yeah. in here, I'm going to just bring them on. All right, two tones. Yeah.
and change the pitch of the second part and we're gonna go ahead and keep cooking. <laughs> I miss a crane kick like I'm the one. Let's see how that sounds. I miss a crane kick like I'm the one. I ran into a check. I showed up for myself. Broke the chain of regret. I checked up for myself. That sounded clean. Big breath. <laughs> <laughs> I, bro, I've been in here, especially because you know I'm I'm rusty. I've been in here winded like take okay. That big breath. You sitting down recording, y'all take that. <gasps> If y'all saw Man. me and probably heard it, I took that big breath so I could catch all of it. <laughs> you gotta do it. Yep. You gotta do it. So, broke the chain of regret. I checked up on myself. I put down self doubt. Talking about pulling up a hop out. Ooh, I faded the thread. My light beat making them sweat. I got a heart like bread. Ooh, I created my own. I that just felt right. It's more fluid. The process is more fluid now when yeah. I do this. It actually get, has me more excited about producing for folks. Than I have been before, like yeah. because I think before, like I was like, damn, like I don't have all the tools at my disposal now. It's like with websites like Splice and like yeah. even like putting chords together, put the stuff together real yeah, fast. That's just fast. Yeah. I created my own, located my throne. So my own and just thrown for the next one. All right, cool. I got a heart like that. I created my own, located my throne. I painted my road, turned pain into gold, turned pain into gold, turned pain into gold. I created my own. That's the one. Yeah. That's crazy. That's why dumping thoughts and going is so important yeah. because you can always come back and edit it. What do you do when inspiration doesn't find you in the moment? You are giving away all of your power right there. When inspiration doesn't find you is your way of saying, no, no, there's something magical that happens in the universe. One of the biggest obstacles that I see with songwriters that I talk to, songwriters that I even coach is they find themselves stuck on one of two lines, the first line and the last line. When it comes to beginnings, try not to be precious. Try to like get it out there because you're going to make it better later. I keep my head above the sky like I can't find just where the ceiling is. I'm, I'm, I'm in a sense, I guess a synonym of winning big. When I reminisce and running back like Emma Smith, I turn my innocence to discipline when words became my instrument. Life is like a doctor, it will test your patience. Oh, especially if you're awkward, can I get an amen? But rather than be an imposter, I just chose to face it. I made my pain into a show. I feel like Larry David. Okay. I created my own, lo located my throne. I painted my road, turned pain into gold. Turned pain into gold. Turned pain into gold.